In this video, we'll be evaluating the integral from the 2023 MIT integration B. So now let's see the question. So the integral from 0 to 100, the inside we have the floor of x times x times the ceiling of x. Now let's see. So what is the floor of x? So that is the greatest integer less than or equal to x. So then see the ceiling of x is the smallest integer greater than or equal to x. So that means if, so if we have x inside this inter interval, so this is from k to k plus 1, k is integer. So then the floor of x just equals the, the lower bound. Then the ceiling of x just equals the upper bound, k plus 1. Okay, so now let's start our integral. So here from 0 to 100. So this is the floor times the ceiling, then dx. First, we are going to write the integral into sum of integrals. Then k from 0. Here, 100 minus 1, so 99. So then the lower bound is a k, so then the upper limit, that's a k plus 1. Then just a function. Okay, so then for each integral, we can easily figure out the, the floor function, the ceiling function. So now let's see here. So for this integral, so the floor just the k, then times x, then the ceiling just upper limit, so just k plus 1 dx. Okay, so then next, we can take k and the k plus 1 outside the integral. So here k from 0 to 99, then here just a k times k plus 1. Then the only thing left inside is x. Then for this integral, that's pretty simple. So for this one, just x squared over 2. And here, k to k plus 1. So now let's see the next step. We have here from 0 to 99, and k, k plus 1. Then here, the bottom, just 2. On top, k plus 1 squared. So here, k plus 1 squared minus k squared. Next, we are going to take 1 half outside. Because when k is 0, so here's a 0, so then the whole thing is a 0. So that's why we are going to start from 1. So k star from 1. Then we are going to distribute this term to each of them. So then here we have, so here just uh, k, k plus 1 times k plus 1 squared. So here's a k plus 1 to the third. Then here, this one times here, so k to the third. So here we have k plus 1, then k to the third. Next, we're going to do something to the second term. Okay, so first write down the first term. So then for the second term, we are going to separate them into two parts. So here's the first part. So instead of k plus 1, so here we have k minus 1, then k to the third. Then minus 2k to the third. So these two combine together, just a k plus 1 to the third. The reason we're doing this, because here, you see this one k, k plus 1, so k is a 1 less than here. 
So then here, k minus 1 is 1 less than here. So they have the same pattern. So that's the reason. So next, let's separate them into three sums. Okay, so let's see the first one here. First one is k, k plus 1 to third. Then the second one. Then second one, so inside, that is a k minus 1, then k to the third. Then the third one, so 1 half and the 2, they canceled. So here we have just some k from 1 to 99 k to the third. Okay, so the next step, we are going to do two things. First, because here is a k times k plus 1. So then here, we also want to have the same pattern like here. So that's why, so next step, we are going to set a new variable. So do a little bit of substitution. So use a letter, for example, use a k star for k plus 1, uh, k minus 1. Then for this part, so we have a formula. So formula is a, so if we have a sum k from 1 to n of a k to the third, so then this one just equals the n times n plus 1 divided by 2, the whole thing squared. Okay, so now let's continue this equal sign. First, let's write down the, the first sum. So now let's see the second one. So let's see the second one. So here, so case one, one put here, so k star starting from zero. That's why right here, so k star starting from zero. So 99 put here, so that's 98. So then here is 98. So then this one here is a k star. So here k star. So then this one, so k star plus 1. So here we have k star plus 1 to the third. OK, so now let's see the last one. Last one, n is 99. So that's why here 99, here's 100. So that's why here we have 99 times 100, then divided by 2, the whole thing square. Okay, so now let's see here. So now let's focus on these two. You see here we have a k times k plus 1 to the third. So this one is a k star times k star plus 1 to the third. So they have the same expression. So outside they have the same constant. So then when we do the subtraction here, so this one is starting from 1 to 99. So this one from 0 to 98. So when we do the subtraction, all the terms cancel out, except the when k is 99, the last term here, and the, the first term here. So k starts at 0. Okay, again, so everything cancel out except the last term of the first sum, k is 99. And the first term when k star is 0. That's why here we have the last term for the first sum. So here's k99, so here's a 99, 99 plus 1, that is 100 to the third. So then for here, k starts at 0, so then this one is 0, so then 0 plus 1 to the third. Now let's see here. So then this one just a 99 squared, then times 100 squared. Then bottom, that's 4. Because this one is 0, so now let's combine these two together. So take out the common factors. Okay, so then here, 1, one half, 1 fourth, so we are going to take out 1 fourth. So then it's 99, 99 squared, so we take out the 99. So this 100 to the third, 100 squared, so then here, let's put this one. So then we let's put the 100 squared, then put a 99. Okay, so then what's inside? So the inside is uh, um, 2 times 100. Then here is uh, 99. 
Okay, it's 99. Okay, so now let's see the next. Next, we're going to do this. Because 99, that's just uh, 100 minus 1. Then what's this term? So this one is a 200 minus 99. That's a 101. So that's why here we can put as 100 plus 1. So then here, just 100 squared. So these two put together, just 100 squared minus 1. So that is the answer for this integral. Or if you want to continue, Okay, so if you want to continue, or well, you can put as uh, 24 million, 997,500. Either way, that's fine. Thanks for watching. See you next time.